and here we go. King Kenny versus Faye Sensei, a lifelong, lifelong mixed martial artist. He teaches as well. King Kenny, did he bite off more than he can chew? He is taller than Faye and will enjoy a three inch reach advantage. This one scheduled for four rounds. Okay, boys. Right, stop throwing punches, step back. Protect yourself at all times, obey my command. If I want to give you a breather, I can give you an eight gap. Conduct yourself respectfully to each other and to me. Clean boxing, good luck. What's your gut tell you, True Jordy? This is the first time I felt a little bit nervous tonight because I feel like this, these boys can really punch you know this is going to be a i expect a war here i expect this, some good it's things. unbelievably tense like you can feel it everywhere mm. like we're about to see something amazing perhaps the two most skilled fighters in the fight game here tonight other than perhaps ksi let's see what king kenny and face sensei have for us they come running out of their corners face sensei in the black king kenny in the green and this is most likely to look like a professional boxing bout compared to all the others. Yeah, we've got um, we've got Fair Sensei going with that lead left hook. Oh, oh what a shot with the overhand and he's got right. King Kenny backed up again. And there's a standing come from the referee very early here. Wow. Boy, these refs are really quick for these standing eights. I understand at this level you want to protect the guys, but I think that was very, he was in there a bit quick. Yeah. That is not the start Kenny wanted, though. So uh, that will be scored a knockdown. What a start for Sensei. Sensei showing that uh, a lot of people took him a bit lightly when he sparred Gabe and KSI. He turned up, you know, probably not in the best shape, and a lot right. of people thought maybe he isn't that good. Well, he's older now, right? And a lot of people are using the age against him. Uh, you know, Kenny's a rising star, rising in influencer boxing. Uh, so I think that's where the prejudice came from. He's in shape for this one, that's for damn sure. He's really prepared this time. This ain't no sparring session. You can tell Faye Sensei knows his way around the ring. Yeah, he's got that footwork. King Kenny keeping that front hand low. He's using that reach. King Kenny getting in there, here and there, with a the reach. Kenny, but a lot more tentative. That'll be a slip. But that step in right hand from Faye Sensei is the punch that King Kenny needs to look out for. Yeah, came out of nowhere for that uh, knockdown. Well, you know who the crowd wants to win. The jab, Kenny. Hey, Sensei wearing those Newcastle United colors for you there. Man, I, I gotta love it. <laughs> Did they win today? They're playing tomorrow, but they're gonna win. Don't you worry about that. I think Kenny has really composed himself well after the good. early trouble. Throwing that jab out nicely. Face since they may just be biding his time before he sees an opening again. Yeah, it looks like he's looking for that opening. There's not a lot of punches being thrown now. Is it? That's what he wants. Sensei also is a martial artist. He's been fighting rounds for years, so he knows I've won this round here. I can, I can coast the rest of this round out, not throw too much. I've already dropped them. There's one round to me. It's only a th uh, three-round fight, if I'm not right thinking. So nice round one. Well. There's a right hand, and that right was as clean as a whistle through yes. Jordan. Yes. I do think the referee helped uh, Kenny a lot here, because if he hadn't have got in that quickly, we might have seen Sensei punish him further. We're, we're also seeing uh, the brother of Kenny now daily screaming at Kenny and trying to get him in the right frame of mind to not let that negative uh, momentum set in here after a knockdown. 
Daly slapping his brother Kenny in the face there. Right. His brother knows what he's doing. He was an English national champion and a two-time London champ, won silver at the World Amateurs. Yeah, he's in good hands. All right. Let's see how King Kenny bounces back here in the second round. He landed a few jabs in round one, but that was about it. And we're seeing Sensei move even more than the first round. Kenny taking the center. A lot of feints here. This is some higher level stuff than we've seen perhaps tonight. It's not the war that we were we were expecting though. They, they were talking about having a war. It's a little bit more of a chess match. Yeah, Sensei asked to bleed. He requested to bleed. Mouth, gum shields run out there. This is our first fight scheduled for four rounds. That shows you the level that these two are at. Yeah, I thought this was a three round, that's four rounds. So every every minute counts now. This isn't like the heavyweights last time. Right. Nice job there by King Kenny to stuffle that attack before he launched it. Let's see if Kenny's gonna throw the right hand. There's been questions over Faye Sensei's killer instinct in previous uh, spars and fights that we've seen, you know, because he he is a lovely guy, despite being a class mixed martial artist. Yeah, um, and sometimes we see that that can hinder you in there. You have to want to hurt the other guy. Right. And he hasn't pounced on him. He's allowed him to recover. And Kenny now is, you know, it, as bad as it started, it's best case scenario now. He's had time to clear the cobwebs off. He's getting his thoughts back together, and he's establishing the job. He's actually controlling the center of the ring. Ooh. That left hook may have buzzed King Kenny a little bit. But yeah, that's the criticism uh, Logan Paul always had, that he didn't have that killer instinct where his brother Jake does. Sensei needs to put it on him a bit. He had such early success there, and I think um, the last thing he wants is to come out of this fight and think, I didn't leave it all in there. Because when he was throwing, he was catching him. And he did say this might be his last fight. More like it. King Kenny doing a lot of posturing, a lot of baiting, but not a lot of punching. So yeah. Very hard round to score so far in the heat of the moment for us here. Not a lot of punches thrown compared to what I was expecting. Well, you can understand why Kenny may be a little gun shy after he got basically dropped in round one. Could come down to this last 10 seconds as to who wins round two. Will they throw a punch? This is interesting. Yeah, if I was in the corner of Faith Sensei right now, I'd be telling him it's time to get nasty. It's time yep. to start hurting this guy, not letting it. Uh, because I think uh, Kenny's got the right he tells mentality. You, do you do that, you won the fight. No more fucking standing eights, you understand me? Yeah, you dominate behind that left hand. Yeah, that straight right, yeah? Start bringing it downstairs as well. You've got a long reach. Keep him occupied here. Sting him down there with the right hand. But the most important thing, stay focused. His only hope is to swing one over the top if you become lazy, do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah. Ugh. That's the thing with families in boxing. They talk to each other in a way that nobody else can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Kenny should go low. That might be a mistake. All right, here, here, here we go, round three. Let's bring in Chris Eubank Jr. What do you think, what you've seen so far? Uh, it's a competitive fight, you know. Uh, Kenny was hurt early on in the first round, and, and the referee kind of gave him an out. He let him uh, recover. Um, I think he could have maybe been stopped if, if, if the referee hadn't jumped in. But outside of that, it's been a competitive uh, match. They both got you know pretty decent skills. No! Oh, big right hand again from Sensei, and he's trying to light him up. Kenny again. is in trouble here, and Sensei again hasn't hurt. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a war. 
Jay Sensei is, uh, is really up for this. He really wants to knock this guy out. And he's, uh, he's taking advantage of the openings that he's seeing. Thank you, Chris. Another fast start here in round three for Faye Sensei. It's the Let's right hand. Build on that momentum. Yeah, I'm not really sure who won the last round, but the, the fate to say that the two highlights of this fight have both come from Sensei. Still life in the old dog yet. <laughs> Good left to the body. That's what King Kenny's corner was wanting, and Sensei delivered it. I will say respect to Kenny. He's doing much better than I anticipated. Ooh. The left that time. Faye Sensei began teaching martial arts at the age of 13 as a multiple degree black belt. This guy helps the kids. Uh, he's got a heart of gold, man. He's, he's what martial arts is all about, in my opinion. One of the nicest guys in the business, Faye Sensei. He looks mean right now. And just asking Kenny. Kenny has so much support in this arena right now, but unfortunately, uh, he's in there with someone who's given him some uh, a, a little bit of a lesson currently. Well, let's see what happens if King Kenny can land a clean right hand. Let's see how Faye Sensei handles that. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny has shown a lot of bravery here. He's not allowing those that success of Sensei to dampen his spirit. He's staying in the, the, the center of that ring. He's still controlling the ring, but he's just getting picked apart a little bit when it matters. And I will say this, these guys look like legitimate professional fighters in there. Faye Sensei never standing still, wants to be a moving target. He needs to make him pay when he leans in like that and misses with that job, though. Especially as King Kenny keeps the left hand down. Every time there he throws is. that hook, it the works for The body shot Sensei. from Sensei. So plenty of work to do for King Kenny in the fourth round. I mean, I don't know if we'd give the second round to Kenny. Um, Potentially, but the, those one and three, without doubt, go to Sensei. Both fighters look like they have plenty of energy. Yeah, they, they, these boys came prepared for sure. There's that right Ooh. hand, Jordy. I love that, man. I've got to give credit to Sensei. I, I really wasn't sure whether or not he would be able to hang in there with such a young hungry lion, but he has proven that he is still wanting it. He's still got that passion, that intensity. Sensei is just scary. Look how calm he looks. Yeah. Well, King Kenny needs a knockdown. At least. Three minutes. This could be back-to-back -back losses for Kenny and for a, a very good fighter. It's, it's not what you want. You got to respect Kenny, though. He picked one of the scariest people in our community. For sure. Maybe you should try an easier fight next time, huh? <laughs> nice body shot. Oh. oh, and a nice job. King Kenny stepping forward more this round. He knows he has to do something special. Yeah, he has to take more risks. Yeah, there's staying on the edge. He needs to get in close. And like I said at the start, a martial artist, if you give him that space and time, he will showboat on you. He will make you pay. You have to make it a rough fight. You have to get in close and rough him up. It's amazing how quick Sensei is. As Bruce Lee said, be like water. Crowd are chanting Kenny, Fan willing him on. Here. I think the crowd senses they need a Kenny knockout. Minute 45 to go. And Daly, the brother of Kenny, has not stopped willing his brother on, giving him instructions. It's like he's controlling him with his uh, PlayStation controller in there. He is trying everything.
We are halfway through this round right now. Will this be our first fight of the night that goes to the judges' scorecard? Finally, they can go to work. So far, pretty comfortable decision for them, I think. I think Sensei, unless Kenny does something that shocks us all, it's going to be Sensei. Kenny still being a little hesitant. At this stage of the game, you got to let your fist fly. I was thinking the same thing. There's so many shots that I thought he was going to throw that he didn't. I'm not sure what he's seeing. I understand. I mean, you, you get hurt that badly twice in front of all these people. Maybe, uh... Oh, another right hand. That one I think might have missed by a millimeter, but it, it, it looked serious. Bad intentions. Can you imagine if Kenny did land a big shot? This crowd would go berserk. I don't know if he's got the energy right now. I've just seen him throw that jab, and it looked a bit labored. And it looks like both fighters are probably going to survive. Only 15 seconds left in this final round. Crowd willing Kenny on. Oh, and another good right hand. Kenny goes back. And it's a war! It's a war! After the, after the bell. Well, his brother's holding him up, but I believe it was way too little, way too late for King Kenny. Great. I think that was a very clear decision. Um, but, you know, I got to give credit to Kenny for a guy with less experience than most. He's in there with the most experience, and he's proven he's not afraid of a test. Kenny has an amazing career ahead of him in influencer boxing. Calling out Sensei, surviving Sensei, like, this is, yeah, he's that, impressive. That could have been over a lot quicker. It should have been. Yeah. Well, Keemstar, there's no embarrassment for King Kenny at all. He had his moments in this fight. But he just never was able to get the big punch to land, unlike Faye Sensei with the right hand. He did it on two occasions, round one and in round three. Yeah, he had the reach. He tried to use it to his advantage, and Sensei still found a way in. Ooh. But if you didn't know, Keemstar, you're sitting in the crowd, you're watching this, you would not think those were two media stars fighting. You think they were legit boxers. Oh, dude, the skill displayed in this match was not like any of the others. Two really good fighters, but there can only be one winner. And our, for the first time tonight, we will go to the judges' scorecards. That knockdown in round one should prove to be the difference. That will be a 10-8 round. Let's go into the ring and Haas. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Jack Goodwin scores the bout 38 to 38. Judge Ken Curtis scores the bout 39 to 37. And Judge Seamus Dunn scores the bout 39 to 38. Therefore, your winner and the new ICB International Cruiserweight Champion, your winner by majority decision, hailing from Watford, England. King Can we get a recount? Uh, I feel like I'm getting flashbacks of uh, King Kenny versus Faye's temper. This is exactly what happened. And that, it went to decision, and it got overturned the next day. But 